When Angelo is gonna afford a new microphone? When Angelo is gonna change the t-shirt that he's wearing? These are all questions that you care about, and I don't. To be fair with you, uh, this is my home t-shirt. I kind of want everything to fall apart from this t-shirt, that's why I'm still wearing it. About the mic situation, I don't have a good answer for that. This Monday Night Raw was not really exciting because it, it was kind of a build-up for the next Raw, which, which is Raw 30. It's really cool to see that the television show is running for over 30 years. Yeah, respect. Mad respect for that. As I said, not really exciting. The show started with the bloodline. Uh, saying that they're gonna decimate the Judgment Day, I'm sure they will. After that we have a match Solo Siko versus Mustafa Ali. You guess what happened? Did you guess? I'm gonna give you three seconds. Yes, Solo Siko won. Honestly, can we can we talk about for a second about the the, the Bloodline and the Sami Zayn problem that I have? The Bloodline came out and they said that next week on Raw we are gonna have acknowledgement ceremony for Roman Reigns. I don't care about that, okay? I don't care about th that. I, I want to know what is happening with Sami Zayn, okay? I, I, th that's everything I want to know. I don't care about the KO problem. I don't care about the Royal Rumble. I don't care. Uh, actually, I do care about the Royal Rumble, but can we address the Sami Zayn problem? Thank you. Moving on, we had Street Profits versus Sergey Alexander and Shelton Benjamin. I would love to say up, but really, we're not doing ups and downs here, so I'm gonna say it was really cool. The only thing I didn't understand is why Shelton and Cedric lost, but besides that, everything was cool. They even have a finisher right now. I think we can build them up properly, not like in the past when they were with the Hurt Business. Now they're Hurt Business as well, but I kind of don't understand what MVP is doing out there. I thought that he's working with them, but if you look closely, MVP basically sabotaged the match for Cedric and Shel Shelton. Please give them more wins. Please. After that, we had uh, Bailey and Bianca interaction. Did I just say Bailey and Bianca? I, I messed up everything. A anyway, <coughs> we had a Bailey and Becky interaction, and they're gonna have a match in a steel cage. Awesome. Also, we're gonna have a Royal Rumble match with Bianca and Alexa on a Royal Rumble. I said Royal Rumble twice. Awesome. Nothing too exciting, to be honest. We saw Co Uncle Howdy out there helping out Alexa Bliss. We still don't understand what uh, what is going on with Uncle Howdy, but I, I feel like we're gonna understand soon. So, nothing really to talk about. Judgment Day versus Alpha Academy. What did we expect? Of course, Alpha Academy is, er, is gonna lose. But my favorite moment from this week's Raw I don't understand how Alpha Academy is always in the spotlight. They're phenomenal. I, I love all this. I love sometimes the goofiness of Chad Gable. Sometimes it gets too annoying, but I, I guess that's the whole point. We also had a match Elias versus Omos. Am I the only one who is not really excited to see Omos back? No one? No one? Okay, maybe it's just me. I think to be excited about. Except the main event, of course, the six-man pack challenge, pack elimination thing, challenge thing, US title thing. Uh, that was exciting. Let's pick up six random guys. And of course, the obvious number one contender wins. Bobby Lashley. I didn't saw that coming at all. I thought that Miss is gonna win, or Dolph Ziggler, or Baron Corbin. When I start to talk about it, it, it doesn't make any sense anyone to win except Bobby Lashley or Seth Rollins or Finn Balor. And honestly, I really hope Finn Balor to win, but I feel like Edge is gonna come back soon and Finn Balor is gonna feud with Edge and that's why Finn Balor is not going into the title picture right now and I feel like Seth Rollins is gonna go for the WWE title or Universal title I'm not sure what is going on with the Universal and the WWE Championship are they gonna split them up? Is The Rock coming back? Is Cody Rhodes coming back? Actually, yeah, we, we saw also that Cody Rhodes is coming for the Rumble I just didn't understand why we are not doing this as a surprise I was watching Raw, right, and they showed all the people that are going into the Rumble and I'm thinking like 
Isn't the fun part of the rumble like the clock ticking and a random superstar shows up? Like, why we're already knowing 20 of the guys? Like, this is like removing part of the mystery and I don't like it, I don't appreciate it. So yeah, basically that was Raw in a nutshell. Oh, of course, at the six man pack US title elimination thingy, almost showed up and I don't understand, uh, like seriously, Anything that MVP does, I just don't understand. And it's not like Uncle Howdy don't understand, it's basically like bothering me at this point. It's it's like, I, I kind of don't care, but it's out there and it's impacting the show. It, it uh, uh, is almost fighting for Bobby Lashley, is almost fighting for, who is almost fighting for, who is MVP fighting for, what, what is going on. Uh, like uh, w what is going on in MVP's head? Is he making her business 2.0? What is going on, man? But I kind of don't care as well. Like almost needs build up. Send him back to NXT. Maybe Bronson Reed as well. And let the Kira Tozawa shine. I thought that we are pushing Kira Tozawa now, and he just lost. He just got pummeled by Bronson Reed. Kind of a bummer show. Kind of a not exciting and a bummer show at the same time. That's why my energy is so low. Anyway, in general the show receives a spaghetti a single spaghetti even I'm gonna give raw a single spaghetti yes <laughs> oh my god it's so good L let me check if I have missed something because on the Smackdown review I missed the Bray Wyatt promo and I, I got so angry yeah of course I missed one of the good matches of the show you sky versus Mia Im. I have a question again I have a question please answer me because I'm gonna freak out Weren't Becky and Mia Yim friends? Why? How that Mia Yim and Candice LeRae friendship happened all of a sudden? Was it because last week Candice LeRae was pummeled by Bailey? Again, I'm not complaining because as I said in the previous episode, I like Candice LeRae's song. And you, you're not gonna believe this, but when Candice LeRae came out, I replayed that moment like 10 times. Just because of the song. Anyway, as I said, I, I cannot sing or I don't have any musical talent at all. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can click like if you like the episode. I don't know if it's episode. I don't know if it's a review. I don't know if it's highlights. I don't know what it is. I'm just spitting my opinion about Monday Night Raw, SmackDown. Probably I'm gonna do NXT in the future. I don't know. I'm just a wrestling fan and I'm just expressing my opinion. And I hope to hear something from you guys because I, I, I would love to love to talk about wrestling. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Peace.